Hey everyone, Scott from Dunn Family Maple. Today we're gonna to be setting up our SAP Spy monitoring system. This is a new system that came on the market about a year ago um, and we're now a dealer for them. Um, this is gonna be our first year using them as well. What this is gonna do is allow me to monitor our vacuum system, our tank levels everywhere from where I have a computer or um, a smartphone. So we're gonna unbox it, go through setting it up today on the computer um, and claiming your devices. So. Stay tuned. All right, so we'll open it up. Let's see what we've got in here. Invoice. First thing we see when we open it up is the setup guide. So now we'll go through flyer. So the setup guide, let's go through that. Now the setup guide is gonna be up web-based. So you're gonna need the desktop. It's gonna be easier than using your phone for this. So we're gonna get on the internet. All right, so now we're on the internet. So we're gonna go to www.sapspy app app.com so i'm a new customer so i need to sign up now so put in your email address send verification code all right so i got my code on my phone verify the code now password right so now we have to agree to all of the terms I'm not reading all those there's too much there and agree So now we have all our user settings. I'm gonna set it into Fahrenheit. And So we, then you need to decide what time you're gonna do. I'm gonna do absolute time. That way it tells me when it was actually done. And I'm gonna do it in Fahrenheit. Alert settings. That's my phone number. And I can add others later, which I will. I'm gonna put some on for you guys that help me. So my settings are saved. So now we're gonna to go to dashboard. And we need to claim a device. So now I'm gonna open up one of my sensor hubs. Now this sensor hub monitors the vacuum level, um, the tank and the temperature all through cellular monitoring. So we need the code there. So the serial number. And claim it. So I'm going to name this one. This one going to be the hill. And this one is going to be in order two. And this one is going to be on 12 volt direct current when I do it. In the mode, it's always on. It's 95% charged. The battery claims it's charging, but it's not. So 
So now we can set my alerts. So we, I am going to set low battery when it's at, we'll do 10%. Low vacuum, I'm not going to put on because this one's on a 12 volt pump that shuts off when we're on a temperature sensor. So that one I don't want. But tank sensor I do. And we're going to put that at 75%. Now my distance is I haven't measured this one yet, so I'm not gonna do that yet. And then save settings. And that's all I have to do for this device. So that's as simple as it is for claiming your device. Now I'll do one more. All right, so this one, it's gonna, you're gonna claim it the same way, but this, this hub is different. What this hub does is this hub has a radio in it, so you put the antenna on, and this one actually communicates with other devices. So I do have nodes. So what I have is I have two sensor nodes. These are remote sensor nodes. So these are gonna be out in the woods and they're gonna tell me temperature as well as they're gonna tell me vacuum levels on two different main lines. So I've got two of them. They're going to be up or one that's going to be up on top of the mountain and one that's kind of in the middle. And they're going to communicate back to my sensor hub that's at the tank. So this way I know what I'm at for vacuum out in the woods. So this one we need to do. It's a little bit different to do this one. So we'll go through this one. So now we're going to go to dashboard again. So we claim it. Go back to claim a device. Claim. And this one is going to be skip. That's where that one is. And this one I'm going to have at number one. And the reason for that is this is my big woods and I want to be able to see this one first. This one's going to be on USB power and it's always going to be on. It's at 83% in charging. Now, this one I do want on loss of power. Low battery at 10%. Low vacuum, this one I do want here. I'm gonna set this one for 20 inches. Generally it runs about 27, but we want that. And this one, I'm gonna run my tank at 75% there too. So this is a round tank, so this one, this tank fills up quicker, so I do want that at 75 cents or 75% too. And here, I, ha I don't have that, those numbers yet because I'm not at the tank. And that's it. Those settings are saved. So the mode, it's always gonna be on because we have power on this one. All right, so now I'm gonna do one of the nodes because okay, I need to link it to that one. So back to dashboard, claim a device. I'm gonna claim that one. I'm gonna name it at, this one is gonna be A two and three. So I do want the low battery on that one. And then this one I'm gonna set at 20, 22 inches. Now this one, it will probably freeze up on this line, um, but I'm gonna still have it set for 22 because I can still know about when that's happening. I'm going to save it. And that's how you set up a node. Now if I go back to my dashboard, I can look and everything's at zero. So A2 and 3, it's telling me where those are right now. And it tells me battery levels. And I can look at data if I wanted that at battery life. And that's all that is to it to set up. Now this, you can set this up on your smartphone. 
just go to the Sap Spy app website and then you can create a button on your screen and you can go right to it and have all this data right there as well. That simple to set up your SAP spy system. Pretty soon I'll be going out and getting these mounted, getting the tanks set up, as well as getting these nodes hooked up so that it's almost happen season. So um, hang on, these things are gonna be a huge addition to, to my woods, my peace of mind. Um, my job does take me away for days at a time. So this way I can be looking at what my tanks are doing, what my vacuum level is, and if I need someone to go check something, I can do that. So hopefully it'll work really good.